Taiga forest pants, are they really good? Or are they also just another pair of pants that break down after half season or after one season? In this video, I'm going to give you a review of a pair of pants that's been using the whole season. My name is Matti and I'm running a small guide company together with my partner Stina. We are dog mushers and nature guides and also doing this YouTube content. Outdoor life is our life, so we are dependent and we are using our gear a lot. Follow me in this video and I'm going to talk about the pants. It's beginning of May in Swedish Lapland and we still can do dog sled tours, snowmobile tours, ski tours and so on. But the summer is just around the corner. We always feel very stressed at this time of the year because we are squeezed between summer and winter. As you see, I start getting less good, so I wear this uh, safety gear a lot. Now, I also have the forest jacket, Taiga forest jacket, but I'm not going to talk about the jacket today. I'm just going to talk about the pants. Under the jacket, I have this kind of floating gear. You see, it's a kind of floating jacket, but the Taiga jacket and this floating jacket, that's another video. These pants have this kind of, I don't know what you call it, but they are total different construction, if you see. Uh, they are attached on the side. You can take them away if you want. And they're only attached, attached on two points on your body, here. So, and in the, in the beginning, I didn't like it. I thought this will not be a good thing. But when I used it and I get used with it, I actually start liking it. There is only one thing with this ones that I'm not satisfied with. And as you see, uh, I'm, they are a little bit loose here. I know the size of these pants is a little bit too big for me because I like big pants. But if they just had attached uh, this Velcro one more higher up, I could have adjusted it a little bit harder and that had been great for me. So I would love to make this part 10 centimeter more, maybe 15 centimeter more. That's the only thing with the, this. I don't know what you call it. I write it down here. There is one thing I really miss with this pants, and that's the kind of drop seat function. I don't know if you know it, but it's if you want to do number two going to toilet, then you can open the whole uh, gate back without taking off the pants. That's called drop seat function or drop seat or uh, yeah, something like that. And that's really good for, yeah, women really usually like it very much because they have to take off this thing, pants all the time otherwise. Because otherwise, if you wanna go to the toilet and take off the pants, you have to take off the jacket and take off these ones and everything. And that's not nice. So drop seat on these pants have been super nice. Ventilation with these pants. There is actually no ventilation or Taiga said that the pockets is the ventilation and if you look at this This is a kind of mesh here and you can keep the pocket open and then get ventilation that way But then you will lose things that you have in the pocket. So I don't think that's a good idea. I Want some kind of dedicated ventilation on the pants, but it's not ventilation on this pan. And I had to admit, I haven't missed it. I haven't been really warm and sweaty in these pants. So it is a different kind of fabric on these pants and maybe that helped. But I will come back to the fabric later. Chocolate, coffee. And I've been using these pants when I've been driving snowmobile and 
a problem I have with a lot of pants when driving the snowmobile is that I get a wet, wet ass. You get drifting snow in under the ass, between the ass and between the, or you should say between the butt and between the seat. I, I get a comment in an earlier video that ass is not polite to say you should say butt. So my butt. I get snow between my butt and the seat and that melts and then I get a wet butt and that's not nice. With these pants, Tiger Forester, I haven't get a wet butt. That's good. Fresh water directly from the lake. So, the fabric in these pants are a little bit different. There is a Gore-Tex liner. The Gore-Tex is hanging free inside the fabric, the outlayer fabric, that's a kind of Kodura probably. If you want to know exactly what material, don't listen to me. Check the specs for the pants directly on Taiga's homepage. But the liner is hanging free and the fabric is outside. That protects the liner from, if you get punch from branches or something into the fabric. It also make, uh, it seems like it makes the pants more dry during the winter. You don't get ice layer inside the Gore-Tex as you get if everything is um, laminated into one layer. To one, uh, not one layer, but one fabric with the Gore-Tex in the fabric. Then I have the feeling that I get much more moisture and icy inside my jacket or pants. So with this type of fabric, uh, it haven't pushed through water uh, through my, on my butt when I'm sitting on the snowmobile. That's amazing. And it haven't been, it seems like it transport away the moisture from my body when I make workout. Of course, if I make super heavy duty workout, uh, Gore-Tex is Gore-Tex. It's not something really fantastic. It is, uh, but this Gore-Tex seems to be better than other Gore-Tex material I've been using before. I'm really impressed of this. And there is one more thing with this fabric. I've been using very expensive brands before, and expensive pants and expensive equipment with Gore-Tex. And very often you can see when they put the membrane attached to the fabric that it actually start releasing and start losing function. And I also seen a lot that the tape seams are open up and are destroyed that. You can look at the review I made of uh, Kletemus and Freke that it's a kind of pants for 800 euro. And you can look at the review of them and then you see how they are falling in pieces. That haven't happened with these ones. I have really looked on the, all the seams, all the uh, tapes, and it seems like they are actually not destroyed. And I've been using them since December until now in May. And I promise you, it's everyday use. And I'm not sleeping in them usually, but that have also happened. But most of the time I'm not sleeping in them. You get nervous if you drink too weak coffee, so I make it a little bit stronger.
And then we had to talk about the pockets. Uh, one of the pockets on this pants, or at least one left and one right, is the one that I mentioned before, this one. It is um, a mesh pocket that you can use as ventilation. I've been carry tools in it, I've been carry nails, I've been carry a lot of things in these pockets. And when I look at it, it's still kind of new. Of course, I have been carry nails in it, but most of the time I haven't been carry nails in it. So, but the lower part of the pocket, if you look here, the lower part have a kind of different fabric. So it is stronger. These pockets haven't, they are still like new. One thing on this pocket are different. You see the zipper here. You close it down. Open it, close it. And I have never had pants with pockets like that. Usually you close them when you pull them up. It took a while before I got used with this and I was very annoyed by this in the beginning, of course. And, but now afterwards, I start thinking that all the other brands are making wrong. Tiger is probably the only brand who make it correct. Because it should be easy to close a pocket. That's more important than it's easy to open the pocket because you should close it and it should be closed otherwise you lose your stuff. And when you pull it down like this, it is easy to close it. So I would say that Tiger is probably the company who make it correct and the other one is doing it wrong. It's interesting how I changed my opinion during this season when I've been using this pants. And then we have the pocket here on the side, the pocket on the leg. And I also have to say that this pants, Tina and me have the same kind of pants. And this is a lot of things in this review that both of us actually agree with. And very often I have one opinion about something and Tina have a little bit different. But with this we are more or less 100% on the same line. These pants, they are uh, big, they are good, uh, you have a, a zipper here also, that zipper you close forward. That I don't like because I think you should close it backwards. When you're traveling in the forest, when you're going skiing, if this hook in something, it haven't happened, but it could hook and then the pants will be open. So, I prefer to close it and open it in the opposite direction, but um, that's me. Uh, this pocket is maybe one of few things that we don't like with this pants, because it's so back on the leg. So when, here I have the dog booties, it's very bulky, uh, and it ends up, you see, under my leg when I'm sitting like this and you had to put them forward all the time. So uh, they are a little bit annoying when they are on the position. Um, maybe they should be a little bit more forward or I don't know, they are different from other pants. So, but it works. And um, this is one small detail, I think. The first coffee, you always put a little bit out to the small people. And then you take coffee for yourself. This was just for YouTube. <laughs> As you see, I'm standing not on my knees. So when we talk about pocket, we also had to talk about the knee pocket. Here, you can open up um, a welcome here and put knee pads on inside. I have really thick knee pads, working knee pads for people, carpenters and so on. 
So I'm very often standing on my knees like this and doing fire and cutting firewood, dog food and I've been standing a lot on my knees with these pants. And the material in these pants on the knee is totally different from material that I've been used with because with Klettemusen they have a Kevlar fabric on the on the knees. So I thought this who's that's not uh, Kevlar shouldn't be strong enough. But I had to admit that this haven't been destroyed from one season. It's actually is dirty and you can see that it's used of course but there is no holes nothing in it. How could it come that some companies put fabric on their pants that's made with Kevlar, almost bulletproof, and I wear it and I get holes in it. And then it's another company like Taiga who make it totally different. They use a soft, just normal fabric. I use it in the same way. Maybe even standing a little bit more on my knee because I actually one year or two year older now. And these pants, if I compare, they look like new still. Yeah, that's so strange. When we're talking about strong fabric, you should also look at the fabric I have down here on the inside of my boots. This part of the fabric and the seams here, they haven't break down either. And if I look at the Klettemusen, they have big holes after two months or something like that. And this one's December to May and it's still like new more or less. Um, as you see, I have a hole here on my pants, but that's because I push the brake, the sled brake through my pants and they are not bulletproof. But they, I haven't worn them out. I'm, that's really good. And then we had to talk about the opening and closing mechanism back down here on the pants. This is not perfect. This one is opening by itself sometimes and that has happened both to Spina and me. That's one bad thing. I can't find a better solution by, by myself because the advantage of this is actually that even if it's covered with ice you can open it very easy. So that's an advantage. The bad side is that it opens now and then by itself. Uh, another thing, you open it with Velcro here. That's good. And you can open with a seat. For this one, it works very fine for my yarn pants and shoes. But when I wear my real big winter boots, this is too narrow. And I could cut here, of course, and I will probably do that because it's so annoying. Uh, what I would wish that Taiga have done is that they have put just a few more centimeters of this fabric. Two, five centimeters more that have made a huge difference than even this have been really, really good. But this is one of the things that uh, I'm not super happy with. But it works fine. For these shoes, it's totally perfect. And for ski boots, probably also perfect. And one more thing, the size. I'm 172 centimeter long, 65 kilogram. I use large on my pants. I prefer pants that are a little bit bigger because I use them during the whole winter. So under these pants, I use two layer of long johns, the net ones, the normal long johns, and then I have my super thick wool long johns that I also use sometimes. And if it's really cold, I add also a pair of thermal pants. So I use four thick layers under these pants. I need big pants. Stina is 170 centimeters, 60 kilo, 
and she use medium. One good thing with these pants is that they come with size for men and size for women. I don't really know the difference, but they are a little bit different, of course. And uh, the construction of a man and woman are a little bit different also, so maybe it's good. The weight of these pants is like 960 gram. If I read, I haven't controlled it, but it's less than one kilo. And you should compare that with pants from Klettemusen, for example, that are uh, one and a half kilo, 1.4, 1.5 kilo. So they are kind of lighter winter pants. You know the bib pants that comes up here? This is one thing I miss. I miss the pocket here where I can put my cell phone. Now, I want to have the cell phone in a pocket under my jacket so it stays warm when it's cold. That's uh, an issue for, for me when it's cold. So now I have my telephone in my jacket pocket and that's fine. But very often I put away my jacket somewhere because I'm warm and then I want to make a picture with my telephone or do something with the telephone and then it's in the jacket. And uh, I like to carry the telephone on my pants. And if you like this video, please give a thumb up. If you want to see more content from us, then you have to subscribe. Because otherwise you maybe miss the review of Taiga Forest jacket. Or you maybe miss the review of this floating jacket. Or you maybe miss a video about how to stay safe on ice. Or you maybe miss some dog sled video. Thank you for watching. It was nice to see you again. And now I'm taking my dog team and going back to my kennel. Thank you.